about me. Are you ready? Fact number one is that I'm PewDiePie's girlfriend and wait for it, I'm aware of it. Probably 90% of the people on the internet know me as PewDiePie girlfriend and they don't even know that my name is Marcia Bizunyin. I kind of grew accustomed to that and I try not to be bothered by it that much but there is always someone that in every single one of my videos have to point that out, remind me about it, but trust me, I never forget it. The funny thing about this is that there are so many YouTube couples on the internet, but for some reason I'm really the only person that doesn't get seen as an individual, that I'm not always attached to PewDiePie on my own person, and that is what really hurts sometimes. You won't believe fact number two, but I have my own wallet and I will tell you more, there is money inside and credit cards with my name on it. I know it's ridiculous, crazy to think that I could own my own things. Fact number three is a really really weird one and is that I have a body. Apparently it wasn't enough growing up all the way through high school feeling like people were judging me and picking on the way I look. You will think that by now, that I'm 22 years old, I wouldn't have to be put under this kind of judgment, but I still do. And I actually think it became worse. People like to make fun of my eyebrows. People make fun of my crooked smile. And honestly, I try not to care too much about it, but what really, really bothers me is that these kind of people don't realize how their type of comments even though they don't hurt me, might hurt other people who might be feeling insecure about the way they look and then they hear these type of comments and they just feel like they can never pull something off. For example, if they want to wear something, they can't. Or if they want to try out some makeup, they can't. And that's really, really wrong. In one of my Halloween videos, I was wearing this sheer blouse and it was a lot different from what I usually wear, but I was definitely covered and everyone went crazy. Sometimes I get judged because I always do the same makeup and then as soon as I post a picture with me, no makeup on, people like to just offend for no real reason. I read comments like, oh, good thing makeup exists. Oh, you look like a man. But I just feel like it's kind of ridiculous. Fact number four, you won't believe this, but I like tattoos. I feel like you have this image of cutie pie Marcia and you don't really know the real me, but you like to imagine me as this perfect creature that is so innocent and kind of like silly and for some aspects I am. I don't like to say bad words, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do all those kind of things, but I still am my own person, I'm still allowed to enjoy things that maybe other people don't think are that good. And I like to tattoo myself because I like art, I see tattoos as a form of art and when I find something that has a meaning to me, I want to put it on me forever. I don't think it's that wrong. And once again, it still connects to the body image again. It's my body. If I feel comfortable with it, why would you have to judge me for it? And now fact number five is the craziest out of all. And it's that I'm a YouTuber. Yes, I know that it's kind of hard to process the fact that I work as much as any other YouTuber. I upload two videos a week, if not more. I create my own content, I edit everything, and after three years that I've been doing this, I still don't get the recognition that I deserve, in my opinion. I'm, I definitely don't think that I deserve like 4 million subscribers, which I have, but I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about the people who always like to point out that I'm just PewDiePie's girlfriend and I don't do anything else. I actually have been working really, really hard this year. In 2014, I set some goals and I've been working really hard and I have some secret projects that I never discuss because I'm not allowed to because they are that important to me. Do you hear the ring? So I know that this video was really different, not as cheerful as all my other videos, but I really wanted to show how much negativity there is behind what I do. And I don't think it's really fair because I'm simply here to connect with you. I don't want to start any fights or anything like that. And if we can just be nice to each other, that would be so much better in my opinion. So the simple message behind this video is to just think before you leave any mean comments or before you start some argument on the internet because you might not know the whole story and you don't know what people go through. You're definitely entitled to speak your mind, which is just what I'm doing right now, but just try to do it, realizing that what you're saying might hurt other people, and just be polite overall. That is it. So I apologize if you didn't like this video, but regular ones will come very soon. Thank you for listening to me, and I will see you very soon.
Bye. Thanks for